Hey, Groovy people, I'm John. I'm a retired math teacher. I taught middle school and high school math for 36 years. This quick lesson is on uh, reteaching you guys how to find the mean, the median, and the mode. They're just measures of center of data that we have. So I'll give you some sets of numbers and we'll find the mean, median, and the mode of those. And don't forget all your lessons can be found at that super groovy website and that one also right there. And if you would at the end, if you know what this means, go go bottom up to help, help support me. So. Anyways, let's get started here. So the mean is the average, the median is the middle, and the mode is the most. And I tell my students that it's mean to say that you're average. It's mean to say that you're average. Mean equals average. The median is like the median strip that goes down the middle of the highway. The median is the middle, median middle. And mode sounds like most, or you think of fashion modes. Who's wearing the number seven the most? You know, that's fashion mode, so uh, mode sounds like most. Okay, let's get started with some here. So I'm going to use another piece of paper to, so we don't get overloaded on stuff. So here it says, find the mean, median, and mode of each set of data. I think that's what it says. Yeah, right on. Okay, so here I, I just posted seven numbers right here. So these can come from, I don't know, the ages of people in a club or something. I don't know, whatever. I, I, I took out the whole word problem. So we're just dealing with these seven different numbers. Okay, so to find the mean, that is the average. So we're going to add up all these numbers and divide by seven because there's seven numbers. So you can see I'm doing that right there. I'm just adding all of those numbers up and dividing it by seven. You don't have to rearrange them from smallest to biggest. We'll have to do that for the median, but we don't have to for the, for the mean, the average. So I added those up. Those add up to 105, and then 105 divided by seven is 15, okay? Most of the time it's a decimal, but I'm choosing not to do decimals just so we can get to the point. But I mean, you have calculators, so you can just punch them in your calculators and, and uh, find it that way. So, um, okay, so the median is the middle number after we rearrange them from smallest to biggest. So I rearrange those numbers from smallest to biggest. And since there's seven numbers, then the fourth number is the middle. So check this out. If I go one, two, three, four that's the median. If I went from this way, one, two, three, four, that's the middle number, so that's the median right there, okay? And then the mode is the number that we see the most. Well, I see two 15s. I don't see any others that are repeating right there, so the mode is 15. Total, total coincidence that I made the mean, median, and mode all the same number. It's not on the next one. In fact, we get decimals a lot of times, you guys, and so especially on the mean, you guys, and the medians too, sometimes we get um, decimals on that. Okay, so here, here's eight different numbers right here. So this is number two, and we're going to find the mean, median, and mode of these guys right here, these eight different numbers right there. Okay, so um, uh, there they, there's the mean right there. We're going to add them up and divide by 8, and I did that earlier. 232 divided by 8 is 19, so the mean is 19. Again, a lot of times we get decimals, but this time we don't. I'm just, it's just so you get the, uh, the understanding of mean, median, and mode. Okay, the median is after we rearrange them from smallest to biggest. This time there's, and I did it down here, so this time there's eight numbers. So think half of eight is four, and then so the fourth and the fifth number is gonna be the, the median right here. So um, when there's two numbers in the middle, then we have to average those two. So if I started over here, one, two, three, four, and then over here, one, two, three, four. So these two are the two numbers that are in the middle. So if there's two numbers in the middle, then we have to average those two numbers and divide by two. So add them up and divide by two, or you can pretty much eyeball it between 22 and 23 is 22.5, okay? And this time, this guy has two modes because I see two 16s, I see two 22s. So there's two modes on that, 16 and 22. Okay, so sometimes you have more than one mode. Sometimes you only have one mode. Here's an example where there is no mode. There is no repeating number, so no number has more than the other. So, so you might have um, uh, a no mode, you might have one mode, and you might have more than one mode. Sometimes you have three modes or more, depending on that. Okay, you guys, if you're still with me, don't forget, start at the bottom and just go up right there. Okay, you guys, I, I appreciate you guys, and peace out.